Welcome to The Insightful. Today, we have a fascinating topic to explore, neurotransmitters. Have you ever wondered why you feel happy, sad, anxious, or calm? It turns out that these emotions are closely tied to the chemical messengers in our brain known as neurotransmitters. In this video, we'll dive into the world of neurotransmitters and unravel their role in influencing our mood and emotions. We'll explore well-known neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine, and how they interact with our brain to shape our emotional experiences. As we delve into world of neurotransmitters, we acknowledge that it can be a complex topic, especially if you are not familiar with this kind of literature. That's why we've decided to create a series of videos that will explore various aspects of neurotransmitters in depth. In this first video of the series, we'll provide you with the fundamental information you need to fully grasp the concepts we'll be covering. Understanding neurotransmitters is crucial in gaining insights into the complex workings of our brain and how it impacts our mental well-being. So join us as we uncover the secrets behind these tiny molecules and their profound influence on our mood and emotions. But first, a disclaimer. You should pause and read it. Okay, now that you are done with that, let's dive in, shall we? What are neurotransmitters? Neurotransmitters are powerful chemical messengers that play a vital role in how our brain and nervous system function. They are specialized chemicals that transmit signals between nerve cells or neurons, allowing them to communicate with each other. Neurons are the fundamental building blocks of our nervous system. They have three main parts, the cell body, dendrites, and axon. The cell body contains the nucleus and other cell organelles, while the dendrites are short, branched extensions that receive incoming signals from other neurons. The axon is a long, slender extension that carries nerve impulses away from the cell body. Neurons communicate with each other through synapses, which are tiny gaps between the cells. When a nerve impulse, signal, reaches the end of an axon, it triggers the release of certain chemicals that is neurotransmitters into the synapse. Neurotransmitters act like messengers, binding to receptors on the neighboring neuron, which allows the signal to be transmitted across the synapse and continue its journey. Once the message is delivered, the neurotransmitter may be reabsorbed by the original neuron, a process known as reuptake. There are many different types of neurotransmitters that have unique functions and are found in various regions of the brain and body. Some examples of neurotransmitters include serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine, and oxytocin. These neurotransmitters play critical roles in regulating our mood, emotions, cognition, and other physiological and psychological processes. Imbalances or disruptions in neurotransmitter levels have been linked to various mental health conditions, such as depression, anxiety, and schizophrenia. Neurotransmitters that affect our mood. There are numerous neurotransmitters in the brain, each with its own unique functions. While not all neurotransmitters directly affect our mood, several of them play important roles in influencing our emotions. Let's take a closer look at some of them. Number one, dopamine. Dopamine is often associated with pleasure, reward, and motivation. It is involved in our brain's reward system and is released when we experience something positive, such as winning a game or receiving a compliment. Dopamine also plays a role in our mood and movement, and imbalances in dopamine levels have been linked to mood disorders like depression and addiction. Number two, serotonin. Serotonin, often known as the feel-good neurotransmitter, is involved in regulating mood, appetite, sleep, and social behavior. It contributes to feelings of happiness, contentment, and well-being. Imbalances in serotonin levels have been implicated in mood disorders such as depression and anxiety. This is why some antidepressant medications, called selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, work by increasing serotonin levels in the brain. Number three, oxytocin. Oxytocin is often called the love hormone, as it is associated with bonding, social connection, and trust. It is released during social interactions like hugging or cuddling and can contribute to feelings of closeness and attachment. For example, spending time with friends, engaging in meaningful activities, 
or expressing affection can increase oxytocin levels in our brain, leading to positive emotions and improved mood. Oxytocin also plays a role in regulating mood and reducing stress. Number four, endorphins. Endorphins are neurotransmitters that act as natural painkillers and mood elevators. They are released in response to stress or pain, providing a sense of relief and well-being. For instance, you might have experienced the runner's high, a feeling of euphoria or improved mood after a vigorous workout. This is due to the release of endorphins in the brain. Number five, norepinephrine. Norepinephrine is involved in the body's stress response and helps regulate mood, attention, and alertness. It is often released during stressful situations and can contribute to increased heart rate and blood pressure. Imbalances in norepinephrine levels have been associated with mood disorders like depression and anxiety. Number six, GABA. Gamma aminobutyric acid, GABA, is an inhibitory neurotransmitter that helps calm the brain and reduce anxiety. It counteracts the effects of excitatory neurotransmitters, helping to regulate mood and reduce feelings of stress and anxiety. For example, when we practice relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing or meditation, it can increase GABA levels in our brain, helping to calm our mind and reduce feelings of anxiety or stress. Number seven, cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone that is released in response to stress or danger. It can affect mood and emotions by influencing our stress response and triggering the fight or flight reaction. Chronic elevation of cortisol levels, such as during prolonged stress, can have negative effects on mood and mental health. So, we've learned about how neurotransmitters like dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, and cortisol play a significant role in regulating our mood and emotions. In the next part of our video, we will explore the neurotransmitters further. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. And feel free to share your thoughts and comments below. Until next time, stay curious, stay insightful.